how to create rectangle shape border graphic motion. This motion graphics is very easy for the absolute beginner. Let's start it. Click blank area. Press X key then click delete. Press 7 key. Press Ctrl Option 0 key. Press Shift A. Select curve click B0. Press Tab key. Press V key. Click Vector. Go to the overlays then change to None on the Handle section. Alright. Click this point then will appear the white dot. Press E key. Press X key. Press Number 3. Press Enter. Press E key. Press Y key. Press Number minus 4. Press Enter. Press E key. Press X key. Press minus 8. Press Enter. Press E key. Press Y key. Press Number 2. Alright. Press Tab key. Click blank area. Click on this snap icon. Click on the absolute grid snap. Select this shape. Press G key going to move the object. Alright. Click blank area. Press Shift A. Select mesh then click plane. Press S key going to scaling the object. Press G key going to move the object. Alright. Click off the snap icon. Press S key then X key. Create a rectangle. Press S key then Y key. Alright. Press S key going to scaling the object. Press G key going to move the object. Alright. Pull the right side first. Increase the location Z number. Click on this snap icon. Press Shift A. Select curve click B0. Press G key going to move the object. Press Tab key. Press V key. Click Vector. Click this point then will appear the white dot. Press G key. Move the white dot to here. Alright. Go to the layer panel. Remember the object name or you can change other name what you like. Select this shape. Go to Material Properties Panel. Click New. Surface Setting Select Emission. Change any color what you like. Go to Object Data Properties. Click 2D. Open Geometry Section. Click Object on the Bevel Section. Click the white square icon. Then select this layer name that you just changed it. Then that stroke line have been changed to border shape. Select this line. Lock the Y and Z number on the scale section. Adjust the X axis number to change the border thickness. Like this. Alright. Go here change to viewport shading. Switch off the light layer. Open the start and end mapping section. Pull up the timeline panel. Change the current frame and start time to 0. Change the end time to 40. Make sure it is on the keyframe 0. Go to the start and end mapping section. When you adjust the factor end number then the border was changed together. Alright. Click the white dot change to diamond. I forgot to select the object. Select this shape. The 0 keyframe will display an orange dot. Now move the keyframe to 40. Go to the start and end mapping section. Adjust the factor end number around to 0.2. Click this diamond shape. Press space bar. Check the graphic motion. The motion speed too slow. If you want to change the speed of the motion, change the end time to 20. And move the orange dot to 20. Press space bar. Alright. Go to material properties panel. Go to keyframe 0. Click this dot icon beside the collar bar then will be changed to diamond icon. Go to keyframe 20. Change any color what you like. Click this diamond shape. Press space bar. 
perfect. Thank you for watching and see you soon for another video.